Good morning, welcome. Um, my name is Miss Amanda. We are going to be working on Cub Club. So today we're going to be talking about the gospel reading from this upcoming Sunday. If you'd like to join us, we're going to do that on Facebook Live as well as in person. It starts at 1030. You can find that on the St. Mark website or St. Mark Facebook page stmarknt.org um, or stmarknt on Facebook. We would love to have you join us for that. Today we're going to be learning about how Christians we are like pumpkins and we are going to be focusing on part of our gospel reading for today. So this comes from the book of Matthew chapter 22 and it's Jesus speaking and he says, he said to them, whose image is this? and whose inscription. So basically what that means is who are who do you look like? Who are whose image, whose inscription is on you? And as Christians, we have Jesus as part of as in our hearts and that we are showing to the world. That's whose image we bear. So we're going to learn about that through pumpkins. Now, I'm not sure if you guys got to go and pick your own pumpkin, maybe you do it at a store or a farm, um, but when we pick a pumpkin, sometimes it's a little dirty. So when you get to choose a pumpkin, you get to choose whatever pumpkin that you would like, and it's kind of like Jesus and God, they choose you. They think that you are super special and you have been set apart and chosen by God. So this is the pumpkin that we chose and this pumpkin is a little bit dirty on the outside. So we're just going to give it a quick cleaning. You can totally do this with your hose outside or um, in your sink or tub or whatever. But just for display purposes, we're just going to clean it up a bit. Now, when we clean the pumpkin, we're doing that with soap and water. When Jesus cleanses us, he did that with his blood um, through the cross. So we're just going to take our pumpkin and we're going to give it a nice little cleaning. So our pumpkin is all nice and clean, just like you are cleaned in the blood of Jesus. Next step is to carve our, to take out the muck in the middle. So you're going to do that by taking off the top of your pumpkin. You might need an adult to help you in this part, um, but you'll just want to take the top off and then scoop out all that muckiness. The muck is our, our sin. So Jesus cleanses us and cleanses our sin um, from us, and we're going to clean out the muck and that from the inside of the pumpkin. Pause. Okay, so after you have cut or had your adult help you cut the top off of the pumpkin, then you get all this mushy gooshy stuff in the middle. This is like our sin. So what kinds of things does God call sin? Um, and how does God look at sin? So sin is all the things that we do that cause division between us and God. So some things like that might be when you are mean to your mommy or to your sister um, or when you don't uh, tell the truth about something. Um, and how does God look at sin? Does God say, oh, that's okay, you can go ahead and do whatever ugh, is, you know, whatever you feel like doing. Do we have the freedom to do that? Well, in the Bible, it does say that we have the freedom to do whatever because we have Jesus and Jesus sets us free. However, in order to live a life that is honoring and glorifying to God, he did set a precedent about what and how he would like us to live so that we can live free in him and we can live a life that is honoring and glorifying to him. So that is... So those are the Ten Commandments, the things that God has set, kind of guardrails that God has set up for us to make sure that we're living a life that's going to be for our best interest because God works good for us who love him and he wants us to live a life of abundance. And we do that by following his commandments and by keeping him in our hearts, um, by remembering how much he loves us and that we have been set free in him 
to live a life that's honoring and glorifying too. Um, so after you scoop out all of your messy ickiness, um, then, and God has cleansed you from all your sin, you do that by asking God to please forgive you. And God promises that he will. So once you've done that, God takes you and he puts a smile on your face because he fills you with his joy. So you can do that on your pumpkin with a knife or with a marker, however you'd like. But if you do it with a knife, you'll be able to see the light. So we're going to draw our face on our pumpkin and then carve that out. So you carve your face, um, just like Jesus puts a smile on your face because he fills you with joy, we've decided to put a smile on our pumpkin's face too. So that you can always remember that Jesus gives you joy in your heart by how much he loves you. Okay, talk. Okay, so now that we have the joy of Jesus down in our hearts, where? And now we're going to add the light of Jesus. So when Jesus left earth, he left somebody a helper for us. Does anybody remember who that is? The Holy Spirit, great job! Holy Spirit. So he gives us his light, and we just like we're gonna give a light to this pumpkin. And then he fills our hearts and our minds with his knowledge of truth. So then you're all set with your pumpkin. Now, this will just remind you of how much Jesus loves you, that God chose you, that God cleaned you up with his blood, that he put a smile on your face and joy in your heart, and that you are filled with the Holy Spirit and the light and love of Jesus.